Hello YouTube, it's that movie guy 777 here again and welcome you to yet another horror film review. This one comes from the good old 1950s and is one of the most spectacular creature features that I've ever seen. And that is Fiend Without a Face, directed by Arthur Crabtree. The story of Fiend Without a Face is about mysterious deaths that occur in this small town near an American air base where nuclear radiation or a mad killer have been suspected to be the cause of the deaths. However, it turns out to be unlike anything they have suspected, and it turns out to be killer invisible brains with spinal cords are feeding upon the humans, and they become visible towards the ending of the film, and they attack the group of protagonists who must fend off these fiends without faces. Fiend Without a Face is definitely an entertaining science fiction horror film from the 50s monster B movies that exploded during the 1950s, and it's just one of the best of its kind. Well, it's not a perfect film to say the least, it has everything that you'd want from it, and one of its most important highlights are its special effects, and that is one of the most important things that a science fiction movie from the 50s has going for it. The stop motion creature effects are just so imaginative and so cool, and the sound effects are so brilliantly blended together, and when the creatures eventually do become visible, they totally live up to expectations. The scenes when the brains fly up and suck on the neck of the humans is actually, I have to admit, pretty chilling and scary. Also, the end sequence is one of its main defines of why it is just one of the most charmful 50 style monster mash movies and just what makes it so great. Definitely a great movie to watch with other great 50s science fiction B-movies along with The Blob and many others. And surprisingly, they're actually planning on remaking this movie, which I don't know exactly what to think of, but if anything, check out this movie first. And I know every horror film I've already reviewed has been from the Criterion Collection, but I'll hopefully try to move on to some other ones that aren't from that collection. So yes, that was my review of Fiend Without a Face, and stay tuned for more reviews, and I'll see you all later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,